Hello, it's Linda Ballas here. And today I'm just going to talk about the question, why buy gold? Here's just a little bit of information about the reasoning behind transferring money in the form of paper currency to the safety of gold. Paper money, as most people know it, actually isn't real and isn't backed by anything tangible. It's actually just paper that has values printed on it. Purchasing power can change depending on how much of it there is in circulation and how much governments decide to print. This type of money is often referred to as a fiat currency. As comparison, another form of money is gold or silver. And this has real value because if you buy physical gold, you can only buy as much as has been physically mined. At the moment, the US dollar is a currency that all the currencies of the world are tied to. This came about a result of the Bretton Woods Agreement after the Second World War, when the US dollar was first chosen as the world's base currency. At that time, it was backed with gold, so each US dollar had intrinsic value. However, in 1971, President Nixon decided to remove the US dollar from the gold standard. And as a result, today, the US dollar is no longer backed by gold or anything else. Shortly after President Nixon removed the US dollar from the gold standard, many other countries followed suit. And this is what has allowed countries all over the world to print money. And this is what's happening today. These types of currencies are called fiat currencies and are what allows price rises and inflation to occur. Inflation is basically an expansion of the currency supply as more and more dollars are printed. The average life expectancy of a fiat currency is 27 years and we're well past that. At this point in time, we're actually on the brink of a massive wealth transfer as fiat currencies all over the world have reached the end of their cycle and are on the point of collapse. Gold hold many of the same characteristics of paper money in that it's portable, durable, fungible and divisible. However, gold has the added value that it's real, so it holds its value over time. What is actually happening as your paper currency loses value faster and faster each day as more and more paper money is printed by governments in an attempt to stabilise the economies? Gold however, maintains its purchasing power over time. You can buy the same for gold now that you could buy 100 years ago or 1,000 years ago. You could still buy the same things. The value of gold doesn't actually change, but as the value of your paper money decreases, you need more and more of your paper dollars to buy the same amount of gold, which means in reality, the value of your gold you are holding increases. If you look at the graph in the link below, you can see that due to the decrease in the buying power of the dollar, one of the effects over time is that households have gone from one income household to two income households in an effort to just maintain their standard of living. Naturally, this has a whole other lot of flow on effects to society as well. At the same time, the buying power of gold has increased. For the last 5,000 years, gold's actually been the form of money that governments all over the world have returned to when economic times have been tough. And it has always been the safeguard when everything else has failed. So, if you're now ready to transfer your own paper money into gold, and would like to do with it with a regular savings plan that's easy to afford. Just put your email address in the box below and we'll send you information on how you can get started. Thank you for listening today and I hope you understand the importance of why buy gold.